Whoa, it's a rattlesnake. Welcome back to the Adventure Brothers Show. I'm Cobra. I'm Frog. Today we're going to show you about the Eastern Mississauga rattlesnake. And we saw it in the wild when we were walking on a trail. So we had to share it. The Eastern Massasauga rattlesnake is the only venomous snake in Michigan. And there aren't very many of them. They have a federal protection under the Threatened Species, Endangered Species Act. At first, we didn't know what the snake was. And we shouldn't have gotten so close. Our mom identified it. And then we got to hear the rattle for ourselves. It's the only snake in Michigan to rattle. It sounds more like a buzz or soft rattle. Listen to it again. They're generally not aggressive to humans. A lot of the information we found on these rattlesnakes are from Michigan State University because they've studied them in Michigan. They rattle when they're alarmed. They typically do not move when they are <gasps> threatened. They try to blend into their surroundings. Sometimes they'll bite even without rattling. If they do bite you, go to the hospital. Their venom is highly toxic, although it's not likely to kill people. Their fangs are short and can only inject a small amount of venison. Michigan Poison Control reports 16 rattlesnake bites in a typical year. You might be asking, how do you identify it? They're either gray or grayish brown with dark blotches edged in white. They are a small to medium sized snake. The adults average two to four feet. Here's something interesting. While most snakes have eggs, these Eastern Massasauga snakes have live babies. Frog, I mean, instead of eggs. <laughs> there are other snakes that look like them. Eastern milk snake, Eastern fox snake, Eastern hog nose snake, and northern water snake. We, we were sure that what we saw was the eastern Massasauga rattlesnake because it had a rattle and the patterns described. Curious minds want to know, and so we looked it up. How rattlesnake tails rattle? By shaking the tip of their tail, which is made out of hollow segments made of creatine, the same stuff as in our fingernails. When the snake tail vibrates, it causes that buzzing sound. The rattle can shake up to 100 times per second, creating a blur that sounds like a maraca. Rattlesnakes don't have ears. They can sense movements by vibrations, which is movement in the ground. Their eyes are great, though. They can even see well when it's dark. Rattlesnakes' heads have a hollow spot between the eyes and the nostrils called a pit. The pit allows rattlesnakes to sense heat. So they can detect the heat of their prey, even at night. It's a pretty cool super skill. They can detect temperature differences from yards away. It's kind of like night vision goggles that allows the snakes to see the infrared spectrum. The infrared spectrum is a spectrum of heat. It's not something we can see as humans. Rattlesnakes are venomous, which means they need a wound to inject their venom. That's why they have fangs. If you want to learn more of the differences between poisonous and venomous, check out our poison video. Yeah, it was awesome. Jokey time. I've got one. Go ahead. Why are snakes so hard to fool? I don't know. They have no legs to pull. <laughs> ah, I get that joke. Like, because they have no legs. That was hysterical. His his gets the joke. Thanks for joining us. You can be an adventure kid, too. Subscribe to the Adventure Brothers Show. Learn more about animals in our world. Bye-bye. <laughs> it can sense movements by vibration. Bye, vibration. Bye, vibration.